us for Sunday worship service with Faith Temple and Cog, in Warsaw, Virginia. Our pastor is Bishop Forrest Nance Jr. Join us on Zoom every Sunday at 11 a.m. on the go on your favorite streaming platforms, available on Spotify, Apple, Google, YouTube, Anchor, Overcast, Spreaker, Good Pods, Radio Public, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Podbean, CastBox, Podacy, and many more. Online giving through Givelify.com. Type in Faith Temple and Cog to donate. Like and subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, Thread, and Twitter pages at FTNFCOG and our YouTube page at youtube.com slash at FTNFCOG. For more information about Faith Temple National Fellowship Churches of God, you can visit our website at www.ftnfcog.org. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I just thank God. Hallelujah. For all that he's doing in our lives. Amen. He is worthy. He is the almighty God. Hallelujah. I tell you, if it wasn't for God, none of us would be waking up this morning. Hallelujah. You think the alarm clock woke you up. Hallelujah. You better find out who God, you know this God that we serve. We Amen. Hallelujah. If it was not for God, hallelujah, we would not be yeah. here. Amen. It was God, hallelujah, that knew us. It was God that said, hallelujah, let it be. My God, hallelujah. Yeah. Would not be earth. Yeah. It was not for God. It wouldn't be no heavens or the earth. It was not for the God that we serve. My God, hallelujah. Yeah. This morning, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Early. Hallelujah. One Sunday morning. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's God. Hallelujah. God is everything, saints. The sooner we realize that, the better we be. Hallelujah. Our lives will be. And so much I can thank God for. Amen. Like my wife said, hallelujah. We got the call from Dominique that we had one of my grandchildren had to go to the hospital. Amen. All you can do is pray. Hallelujah, the scripture came to my mind. It says, send your word. Hallelujah. When the centurion talked yeah. to Jesus. Hallelujah. And by this daughter, the sick in the bed, dying. Hallelujah. And the servant came and told him that his daughter, hallelujah, is dying. Amen. And Jesus, the centurion said, you don't have to go to my house. I'm in charge of uh, our soldiers. And I just tell them to go here. And I tell them to go there. Hallelujah. I have authority. And he recognized the authority that Jesus had. And he told Jesus, you ain't got to go. Just send the word. And Jesus said, because you believe, hallelujah, go your way. Your servant is healed. Your daughter is healed. Hallelujah. And, and the servant came to him and told him that that hour, hallelujah, that Jesus spoke it, is healed. And that's what we have today, saints. All we got to do is trust and believe what the word of God says. Hallelujah. He tells the saints of God that you believe. You will lay hands on the sick and they will heal cover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast out demons. Hallelujah. Mm, all you got to do is believe. And I believe my God. Hallelujah. Stretched out again. One more time. Hallelujah. Prove itself to us. Amen. Hallelujah. I truly thank God for the healing of our bodies, Lord God. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. I thank God. Thanks. Yes. I thank you. I thank you. I'm rejoicing in my heart. Amen. For what he's doing. Hallelujah. In Bay Temple. What he's doing in Nafgog. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeking God. And he told me in Ezekiel. Hallelujah. He told me Ezekiel, the 14th chapter, I think it was. And, uh, hallelujah. and he told me that the the, 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 the vision, hallelujah, is, 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 is coming to pass. Hallelujah. The vision is coming to pass. Hallelujah. And it's not for uh, a certain time, but it's for this time now. Amen. So I just truly thank God, hallelujah, that we just wait on God and God will do what he said he'll do. I'm going to do. Amen. Let's look at Joshua this morning. The third chapter, starting at verse number three. 
Joshua, the Old Testament, chapter 3, starting at verse number 1. And we're going to go down to verse number 5. Number 6, excuse me. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Sittim, and came to Jordan. He and all the children of Israel enlarged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the hosts and they commanded the people saying, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites bearing it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. For ye have, pa have not passed this way hitherfore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priest, saying, Take up the ark of the covenant, and pass over before the people. And they took up the ark of the people, hallelujah, before the people. Father God, hallelujah, I stand before your people one more time. Lord, let me decrease and you increase. Use this vessel to speak your word. Oh, Father God, open up our hearts and our minds, Lord, that we receive your word. Let that word renew our minds, God. Hallelujah. Put in our hearts that will govern our lives according to your word. Oh, God, open up his ears, Lord. Let them hear your word. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, there are people seeking your face right now. They're looking for answers, Father. We ask you to open up the scriptures to them. Give them the answers that they need, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless, Father, right now. Bless and heal bodies right now. Make people whole. Save them and make them whole, Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I bless your name. Hallelujah. I bless your holy name. For you are the true and living God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. You're the first and the last. God, we thank you for what you're doing. God, you seek counsel from no one, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, hallelujah. I know y'all have heard this, but God put this on me, amen. Said, hallelujah, the topic would be, what you just need topic. Remember your destination. I guess you would say that I'm stuck on the day of assembly. Read the word remember. Hallelujah, came in. That we receive, remember, hallelujah, what we were doing before we lost our first love. This morning, I want you to remember, in route to your promise, hallelujah, remember, hallelujah, in route to your promise, remember, hallelujah. Uh, Joshua, scripture says, is, is Joshua rose early in the morning. And they removed from Sittim and came to Jordan. He and all the children of Israel enlarged there before they passed over. To understand the scripture, saints, you've got to understand the, the children of Israel and what is happening in their lives right now. Hallelujah. They have been led by Moses through the wilderness for 40 years en route to the promised land. In route to the promised land, God, hallelujah, took them away around uh, said they could not enter because they rebelled against God. And they had to wander 40 years, and the ones that rebelled had died off. And now we at the scene where Joshua is going, taking the people into the promised land. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. What my Message is then says, remember what the destination was. 
to remember the destination, you had to know what, what, what happened with Moses over there in Deuteronomy when he told him, hallelujah, to lead the people out. He gave him the same promise to him. He said, I'm going to give you this land. Hallelujah. Over there, the promise Abraham and Isaac and uh, Jacob that I would do it. And Deuteronomy, the first chapter says, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran, Tophen, and Lebanon, Hezeroth, and Dazon. These are, there are 11 days journey from Herod by the way of the Mount Sarah unto Kadesh. Go down to verse 6. The Lord our God spake unto us in her, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn ye and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain of the hills and in the vale, in the south and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Ephraim. Behold, what it said, Moses, behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Give unto them and to their seed after them. Hallelujah. The same destination. Hallelujah. That Moses had, Joshua and the people in the wilderness had. Hallelujah. If you look at the Joshua, the first chapter, you will find what Joshua, God spoke to Joshua and told him. It didn't change nothing. Kept the same destination. He said, now, hallelujah, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, came. it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses minister saying, my servant, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, and thou and all this people, Unto the land which I give, do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Every soul, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of Ephraim, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same area that Moses spoke of is the same area God told Joshua. And it has not changed the destination. Hallelujah. We on the other hand, hallelujah, not understand that Jesus told us, hallelujah, you got to continue. Hallelujah. In the way, hallelujah, that you can have the promises of eternal life. And our job is to continue in the way. Many preachers came before me. You're going to be preachers after me. And they're going to be telling you the same thing. You got to stay the course. You got to continue to that destination. If you want to be in heaven, hallelujah, you've got to go a certain way. Hallelujah. And y'all have been in a place where you going somewhere and you got in and you ask somebody that's there and they are supposed to read the map for you. And then you find out they got the map. They don't even know how to read a map. But you're on a destination. You're on the road. And how do you ask them, where are we? I don't know where we at. I don't know how to read the map. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So we got to know the, who we got. We got to know the uh, they know the way and know how to read a map. And I know that today y'all have the GPS and tells you this and tells you that. But I have found out using the GPS, it will take you, hallelujah, sometime to the wrong destination. Hallelujah. It will take you all the way to, hallelujah, China and bring you back just to go to somewhere across the street. Amen. In other words, it got flaws in it. But God way does not have any flaws. Hallelujah. Remember your destination. Hallelujah. Remember, hallelujah, your destination. In going to Florida, y'all, we 
made several stops. And I call them stopovers where you can refill, get gas, get something to eat, get something to drink, how to rest, get yourself together. So when I looked at this, when Joshua, they told me, they, they got stopovers. And all through Israel's journey, they had places that they had to stop. Hallelujah. And some of the places, hallelujah, were nice places, I'm pretty sure. Amen. To the point that, hallelujah, they would rather stay in that place than continue on their journey. Uh, look at the tribe of Reuben and Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh. They got to the point, they told Moses, we got these cattle, hallelujah, and these cattle in this land right here, good grazing land. We don't want to go to the promised land. You, we'll go over there with you, but we want to stay. We'll fight with you, but we want to stay here. We want to plant our families here. They lost focus on their destination. They thought that that way, uh, the, the promise, uh, this green pasture was better than the destination. Saints, nothing is better than the destination that God has promised us. Don't get comfortable in your, uh, be comfortable in a temporary place. And what I'm trying to say, just as they were sitting there in the wilderness, they got comfortable. We can't get comfortable in the place that we're in right now. Even though it looks good, even though it feels right, you can't get comfortable. You got to remember what your destination is. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you got to know that God has something special for you. Jesus told us, I go prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. And he's going to come back for us. We got to keep our eyes on the prize. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't just get hung up in the, the waypoints, the, the, the temporary places that you come to in life. Hallelujah. Know where you are. So you can know how to get to your destination. You got to evaluate yourself. Hallelujah. You know what your status is. Know uh, what you set your eyes on, what you uh, set your goal. Hallelujah. And you got to realize if it's in conflict with your destination, that you got to refocus and get your eyes on uh, where God promises. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to continue in that, remembering what the destination is. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, don't get comfortable. I keep saying that. Don't get comfortable. Hallelujah. Uh, you think this is your destination because the, the, the Warsaw is not my destination. Hallelujah. King George, at one time, I thought that's going to be the place. Uh, we're making preparations in King George. That this is where we're going to establish things. Hallelujah. And now I'm in Warsaw. Hallelujah. Uh, maybe I'm walking around in circles, amen, but I'm keeping my eyes listening to what God would have me do, hallelujah. I'm focused on getting to heaven and not places down here on this earth. If I set a course to California, there are many states between here and California, hallelujah. Many states that I'm going to cross that's going to be look good. They're going to have sunshine. State's gonna have cold weather. State's gonna have be uh, have hot weather. Hallelujah. State's gonna be looked like it's the right place for me to live. Hallelujah. Uh, that old quick proverb: people say the grass look always greener on the other side of the fence. Hallelujah. So we gotta understand that no matter what this look like, we gotta remember. What our destination is. You know, I keep saying remember because we're going to cover some things. I'm going to cover some things of how the people were challenged uh, during this time with Joshua as we are challenged to Nate spiritually. Hallelujah. Next, hallelujah. Joshua told the people, hallelujah, uh, that uh, let's go to the scriptures that that's over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, stop right there. When you see the ark of the covenant, 
the first thing I told you about stay don't don't get caught up in your temporary destination. Now I want you to focus on number two would be stay focused on God. Hallelujah. Stay focused, maintain the proper focus so that you can arrive at your destination. Hallelujah. Uh, notice Joshua, they told the people, when you see the Ark of the Covenant, not the priest, the first thing they said, when you see the Ark of the Covenant, that's when you're going to have to move. That's when you're going to have to get up. That's where your focus has got to be. Hallelujah. Not on man, not on this or that one or that one. Hallelujah. But on the ark of the covenant, on the word of God, on God's will. Hallelujah. Mm. He said, when you see the ark of the covenant, hallelujah, uh, we got to be focused on God, not on what's happening around us. Hallelujah. Uh, let me see, maybe this will help you out a little bit. Hallelujah. There was a, oh, when I was in school, I, uh, philosophy, uh, they called it the uh, optimism uh, um, pledge or whatever uh, thing, creed, I, optimism creed, that's what they called it. And it went like this, it said something like this, I'm, I don't know, can't quote the whole thing, because what, what I remember, that's the pieces that I wanted to, to share with you. When you're going through life journey, it said, when you're going through life journey and you have set your goals, focus on the donut and not the whole. And I know y'all are saying, what, what, what are you talking about? All right. A donut is a donut and it has a hole in the middle of it. So when you're going through life journey, focus on the donut and not the whole. And it took a little while for me, but in other words, it's saying, you, the substance is all around the whole. Don't focus on the whole. Stay focused on God. That is your substance. The whole is the world. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up in with the, the circle. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up in the naysayers. Don't get caught up in the, 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 the people over here trying to be criticizing you. Everybody's going to criticize a child of God. Hallelujah. So you got to recognize that and you're going to go on about it. What did Jesus tell us? He told us, they hate me, so they're going to hate you because you love me. So we got to focus on the donut and, and not the whole. There's always something to cause us to stumble. Huh? My God, hallelujah. When you focus on God, hallelujah, uh, it don't, things don't seem right. But you know that's right, because God's way is not like our way. Hallelujah. God said if you want to rise to the top, you first got to go down. You got to humble yourself to be right. Jesus told us in the, in the New Testament, hallelujah, if you want to save your life, you got to lose this life. If you lose this life for my sake, you will have life, eternal life. But we don't want to give up this life. We're focused on this life and not the life in heaven. Hallelujah, that God has promised us eternal life God has given us. But you first have to sacrifice this life so that you can have life. It don't sound right. Hallelujah. That doesn't, that's the opposite way of the world. But that's what God is. God, his ways are not like our ways. Hallelujah. His ways are like uh, uh, from here to the sky higher than our ways. He tells us that. Hallelujah. We don't understand all of God. But we know that he is God. He is the El Shaddai. And we got to focus on the art of the covenant. We got to focus on God's way. Hallelujah. And not get caught up in the, the things that's happening. Everything you need is in the donut. Everything you nourish your body is in the donut. There's nothing in the hole. Hallelujah. To nourish you. Everything in the hole is going to criticize you. Everything in the hole is going to come against you. It's causing you to take your eyes off of the substance. The word of God is all the substance we need today, saints of God. Hallelujah. Uh, then he said, and the priest, the Levites bearing it. Hallelujah. Uh, it's all right, but your eyes got to be on God first. Then when you see the priest that's bearing the ark, the ones that's going around preaching the word of God, the ones that's living the word of God, the ones that's carrying the word of God. Hallelujah. Those, hallelujah, when you see those, listen 
and go follow them. Hallelujah. You got to follow them. Hallelujah. Uh, when they go by, know that's the word of God. Know that's the ark of the covenant. Know that they are bearing the covenant and uh, uh, follow them. Hallelujah. But then it says something here and the word of God says, but I want you to keep a distance. I looked up this thing about this distance. Hallelujah. 2,000 cubits. Of course, I looked it up and found out that 2,000 cubits is 4,168 feet. Hallelujah. Uh, so then, of course, I want to know how far that was. Hallelujah. I looked up what a mile was. And a mile was 5,280 feet. So in other words, this Ark of the Covenant was four-fifths of a mile. That's a long ways in front of you. Hallelujah. But you got to put that thing in perspective. This was a nation of about over a million people following this one ark of the covenant of God. Hallelujah. So it had to get out there in a distance so everybody could see it. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, Lord, it's so important that we got to understand that you got to, uh, we can't rush God. Hallelujah. Don't jump up in the media behind and, and crowd God's word, crowd God's men and women of God, hallelujah, causing them to make uh, decisions uh, in the flesh and starting to provoke them to go this way and provoking them to go that way and not follow God. You got to give them time, give God time to work it. Hallelujah, the song we used to sing, hallelujah, was he's on time, God, hallelujah, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time, I heard. Somebody said, I can't remember it, hallelujah, uh, God is, hallelujah, seems like he's always late, but he's always on time, hallelujah, seems like he's not there when you need him, but he's never leave you nor forsake you, hallelujah, so you can't uh, keep a distance so that you can keep your eyes on God, so when God make a turn, you can make a turn, hallelujah, when God go left, you can go left, when God go straight, you can continue to go, so you know where God wants you to go, hallelujah. Remember, hallelujah, the way that God has sent us, hallelujah. Uh, the next thing, hallelujah, I know I'm trying to dwell on this thing, but hallelujah, for your place, he said, uh, the priest, then ye shall remove from your place, from your place, from your place, hallelujah, your comfort zone. You got to come out of your comfort zone. Hallelujah. You got to stop worrying about what people are going to say because you want to be saved. You want to be sanctified. You want to be justified. You want to come out of, of all your sin. Hallelujah. You want to follow God. Hallelujah. You want to be a child of the living God. Hallelujah. But it's going to cost you your life. You're going to cost you to be separated from the world. Hallelujah. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. Ah, you got to come out of your comfort zone, saints of God. Hallelujah. Uh, when we you know you. God's asking you to follow him. You got, it's going to have to leave some things behind that you used to do. Hallelujah. You're going to have to follow God. Hallelujah. At a distance so you can see what God wants you to do. But you got to come forth out of your comfort zone. Stop dealing that around and stuff that make you feel good. It's not fuck making you feel good. This flesh always wants to feel good. This flesh always wants to uh, do things that opposite of what God wants, because it tells us in the Bible that the flesh wars against the, split, the spirit, hallelujah, so they're not going to get along, stop trying to make your flesh worship God, stop trying to make your flesh praise God, hallelujah, thanks to God, let me say this on top of me, hallelujah, um, before I get into today, oh my God, hallelujah, where do we want to go, God is saying you got to come out from amongst them. Why do we think we can dwell in the midst of sin and have favor with God? Can't do it. Can't do it. you got to come out of your comfort zone. Leave that stuff behind. That stuff ain't going to help you nowhere. Remember your destination. you trying to get over to the promised land. you trying to reap the benefits of the promise. Everything that God has for us, hallelujah, is, we got to keep that in our focus. Focus, hallelujah. So we got to come out of it. Come out of our comfort zone. I'm telling you, they come out of your comfort zone. Hallelujah. Mm, my God, now I get down there. And when they pass, hallelujah. Uh, keep 2,000 cubits. Uh, Spend between it about 2,000 cubits. By measure, not, not come near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. I talked to you about that earlier. You got to know the way. You got to keep a distance. Hallelujah. You got to know because you haven't cast this way about it. You know, some of us have been in church 50, 60, 
70 years, amen. Hallelujah. You think we know the way. You think we know how God going to do this and how God going to do that. So let me tell you something. God does things in mysterious ways. And if you don't focus on him, you're going to miss what God has for you. Hallelujah. Y'all ever want to know uh, when you start coming to church, hallelujah, when you read your Bible at night. Now, I know y'all have heard this before. Amen. How immediately when you start reading the Bible, you got to go to sleep. Before you start reading the Bible, you can't sleep. You up all night long. Hallelujah. Two o'clock in the morning, you still can't sleep. But when you say, well, let me read the Bible, immediately you fall asleep. Why? Why is that? Oh, just that. No, 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 no. That is a spiritual attack of the flesh. That is the spiritual attack of, that's telling you to go put your seat so that you can't hear or read the word of God. That's why I tell them I read the word out loud so that you can hear what you're saying. I know you say you can read it sound, but when you say it out of your mouth, it does it does something for me. Hallelujah. That's why when I read the scriptures, amen, I get excited. Hallelujah. That's why I said come down when I'm preaching on uh, on Zoom, amen. Uh, I'm, I'm restrained from getting excited because I'm in a short little area. Hey man, hallelujah. I can't move around like I want to. Hallelujah. I got my spirit jumping here and jumping there. Amen. Uh, the word excites me and gets in my spirit. And that's why I believe that just like I said, there's just like fire shut up in my bones. Hallelujah. It's got to come out of the well of living water. It's got to come out. Hallelujah. And this well of living water is the word of God. Hallelujah. To encourage people that God loves them and God wants them to be saved. Hallelujah. When we reconcile back to him. Hallelujah. Uh, when you keep a distance, you'll see the move of God. Hallelujah. When you're too close, Hallelujah, yourselves, hallelujah. Uh, you want to press here and press there. You can't see what God is doing. You got to see the big picture. God is in control. Hallelujah. Saints of God, mm, back in Genesis, it said God created the heavens and the earth. And all he said was, let it be. Let it be. Hallelujah. That is a, uh, people said they want to head to this and that. But God said, let it be. Let it be. Next thing I want you to understand, now I have a very important time. He told them, said, when you pass, therefore, and Joshua said unto the people, sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Let's deal with this, sanctify yourselves. How do we, in other words, clean yourself up, clean yourself up, sanctify yourself. It's funny how everybody can listen to gospel music. They got gospel music playing everything. And everybody, they even have gospel music playing in, in awards ceremonies or in the, in the uh, Hollywood. They have those, uh, whatever the world, they have gospel music. And they all praising God, like praising God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're imitating. I always say they're imitating God. Hallelujah. Mm. Man, everybody can pray that. Like, but how come nobody's saying? Hallelujah. Teaching them that when you praise God, you're trying to have favor with God. Hallelujah. Uh, every, God don't have everybody going to get favor because they praise and jump around. Hallelujah. God got to see it is you're sanctified. You got my favor with you. Hallelujah. That's what God is saying when he told him over in Leviticus. Sancti I am the Lord thy God. Sanctify yourselves. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to bring you out of here, but you got to be sanctified. Hallelujah. You got to come out of the dirt that you're in. You got to come out of the sin that you're in and sanctify yourself that I'll have favor on you because tomorrow I'm going to do wonders in your presence. Hallelujah. But if you're not sanctified, if you have not giving your life to him and come out of the mess that you're in. God can't give you the favor that he wants to give you. Hallelujah. That's why he told him, so in three days, sanctify yourselves. Hallelujah. Clean yourself up. Hallelujah. Back when the Moses said, they told him, wash yourself, wash your clothes, get everything clean. Hallelujah. Ready to go over into the promised land. But thanks to God, it hasn't nothing changed today. Hallelujah. God told him, I'm holy. You got to be holy. Hallelujah. Don't try to serve and listen to these false teachers and false prophets telling you you ain't got to take all that. I'm telling you it's going to take all that and some more for you to get into the promised land. Hallelujah. You can't grow into the promised land dirty. You can't go into the promised land with sin in your life. Hallelujah. Stop dabbling with sin and sanctify yourself. 
God is ready to come back at any time. God is ready to move in this world any time now. We see the signs and wonders, all the things that happen all around us. How do we, don't be like the world. You can tell the seasons are coming. You tell the summertime. You can tell when fall. You can tell when winter. You can tell when spring comes. But you can't identify when Jesus is coming back. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. How it says, it says no man going to know the day nor the hour. But you got to be preparing yourself that you can move when he moves so that you already be ready, sanctified to step on into the promised land. My God, hallelujah. Sanctify yourself, saints. Sanctify yourself. Come out of sin. Come out of, get washed that stuff on. God wants to perform miracles for us. God wants to do this for you here and now. Hallelujah. But we got to be sanctified. Sanctified. Remember your destination. Remember where you're going. Hallelujah. He is God. He is God. Let me, the scripture just jumped up in. The, let me go over here. 46. I don't know what it is. Psalm 46. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. 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 My, 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 my son. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. Therefore, we'll, we'll not we fear, though the earth be removed and through the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. So the there is a river, the stream thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She, she shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. In that right early, the heathen rage. Hallelujah. Mm, my God, come and go down. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in all the earth. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. So I'm saying, so when you sanctify yourself, God, God said, I control everything. Things I got, things about the saints. God knew you. He knew me. He knew you before you was in your mama's womb. He knew you before the foundations of the world. He told Jeremiah, I put you as a priest. I called you to the priest. I knew, set things all up for you, Jeremiah, before you, I knew, when I knew you, before the foundation of the world, God said it there, hallelujah. I don't know what kind of condition I was in, but God had a plan for my life. He has a plan for each and every one of our lives. He got it for a destination, and we got to remember that when we give our life to him, he put us on a course. And we're in the course, we got to finish. Remember what course we're in. Don't get caught up in this world. Don't get caught up with this. Feels good here. I like it here. No, no, no. Is this the destination God gave me? I'm not settled for here. Hallelujah. I'm from trying to get to heaven. Hallelujah. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. Hallelujah. I want to have eternal life. And the only way I can have eternal life, the only way I can have eternal life is remember my destination. Stay focused on God. Come out of my comfort zone. Be sanctified. Hallelujah. Follow the men and women of God. Follow the word of God. Hallelujah. Then you follow the men and women of God. Hallelujah. Go then and then now be sanctified. And looking and expecting miracles from God. Hallelujah. We sing a song. I'm uh, looking for a miracle. I expect the impossible. Hallelujah. That's why I can pray and hallelujah and knew that Ariana is going to be all right. That's why I can pray and know that my grandchildren are going to be saved. Not only just saved, I just got to sanctify them. Hallelujah. Not only God to baptize them with fire and that is the Holy Ghost and hallelujah with fire. Hallelujah. That's, that's it. I expect that. I expect those things to happen. Hallelujah. And I believe what the word of God tell me. I believe that there's nothing impossible for God. But we got to remember, stay, keep your eyes focused on where God has given you and where God wants to take you. Don't get caught up in all the things around you. Don't, the, the people are talking about you, the critics, everybody that said you ain't doing this right, you ain't doing that right. But if the word of God, if you got the word of God that tells you, hallelujah, hallelujah, have faith in me and you trust God, you can you can let them talk all they want. You can they say, "Well, you doing this and you doing that." I know, hallelujah. I trust God. 
How did God work it all out? Let me tell you this. Uh, when you're not focused on God, I was looking at uh, 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 Western, hallelujah, on TV. I'm on the pen now. Hallelujah. I was looking at uh, Western on TV. And these, this, these were Christians. And then, uh, I don't know what they believe, but anyway, they believe God. And they came to this land. And they said, oh, this is the land that the leader said, this is the land that God promised us. We're going we're gonna to sell up here. And the cattlemen came by and they said, no, you can't sit here because it's open range. You can't homestead here. And they said, well, it don't belong to nobody. And God is saying, this is our land. Hallelujah. And so they got in a big rough with the, the people that lived there and they wanted to set up homesteads, but they didn't want. So they told them, you got to leave and in an hour's time. We're going to come back and we're going to kill all of you. You don't be off the land. And it wasn't their land. Hallelujah. It wasn't the Calumet's land, but they wanted to have free control over the land. So the Christians said, no, we're going to stay here. Hallelujah. Evidently, some cowboys, hallelujah, came by and they heard this and they said, uh, we're going to protect you. We're going to be here with you. And so the men came back along. So they came back and started shooting and killing everybody. Amen. None of the Christians, the show, none of them got killed. But all the cowboys that said they want to help them except for one, died. Hallelujah. And the leader of the, the, the Christian organization, whoever they were, he said, we can't stay here now because there's blood on the land. And the cowboy just stared at him. He said, what you mean you can't stay here? This is the land we helped fight for you to be able to stay here so they would not kill you. And he told him, well, uh, we leave it. And the cowboy said, you can't leave. This is where you want. God is saying he changed his mind now. Hallelujah. And we are not going to be able to stay here. Now, I I took that and I always, when I look at shows, I'll compare them what, what can be happening, what's happening in the world, what kind of, because the man didn't know what he was supposed to be doing. He had, his goal was greed to have the land. But when he found out there's going to be opposition, he could go for as long as he didn't sacrifice his life to obtain the land. We got to sacrifice sometime to obtain. But when it get too close to hurting us, we'll turn up and say, nah, this is, we, we're going to go in our direction. I hope you see and understand what I'm trying to say. God puts us in a place where we got to stand for righteousness. It's going to cost us something. But when it costs us, sometimes when it costs us, we want to say, oh, it ain't going to die. And he will, God, want me, God surely don't want me to stay here and die. But you got to stand there and say, no, this is what God led me. I'm focused on remembering my destination. Remember your destination in God. Don't let the side stuff, side so, so side show that's going on around you get you distracted. Focus on what God wants. Focus and remember your destination. What did God give you? What did God tell you? Those are your promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God spoke. And you, uh, when I was coming, right after I got saved, hallelujah, and I tell everybody, my, my family got saved before I got saved. My wife, my daughter, and my two sons, they, they all were in church. Hallelujah. And I listened to all the prophecies that were put over top. People prayed for them to be, they're going to do this. And they were going to do this prophecy that they're going to do all this. And hallelujah. And I believe God. Amen. Got something. Now that I know God for myself. I believe God does have special things for each one of us. When we turn our lives over to God, he has special, special, special things in store for us. Amen. We got to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Wholeheartedly. Remember, God don't want the mind. God wants the heart. And when you turn it all over to God, it's going to be all right. No matter what it looks like, God got a plan. Praise God. Amen. 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 I truly, again, thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, it was a Holy Ghost. My God. Hallelujah. If we 
get saved, God promised us the Holy Ghost. But we have to first take that first step and so that God can do the work that he wants in our lives. So, hallelujah. Seek God, saints. Hallelujah. If you uh, uh, have questions, please give me a call. Amen. Or call anybody. Hallelujah. Elder Wright, he's my assistant pastor now. Amen. Our assistant pastor. Amen. So, um, please give him a call. Amen. Uh, he did an outstanding job Thursday night <laughs> on uh, phone. I can't imagine preaching in your phone. Amen. Uh, while holding the phone and trying to preach God's word, but he did an outstanding job. Elder did an outstanding job. I just, I, I, my hand goes to sleep when I hold the phone too long. <laughs> To sit it down, I, no, I just don't know. So anyway, praise God. God got technology. We have to adapt. We have to adapt. But don't lose focus on what God. Old songs. We sing old songs here. Amen. Uh, I know this is this, this is an old song. He brought me out of the mar clay. Put my feet on a rock to stay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gave me a song that's in my heart today. Hallelujah. This song of praise. Hallelujah. 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 It's an old song, but it means something to me when I sing it. He brought me out of the mortgage. Put my feet on a rock. That's Jesus Christ. To stay. Put a praise, a song of praise in my heart today. That song of praise, I say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, he's good to me, saints. Amen. He's good to me, and I love him. I love how he's, what he's doing in my life and what he's doing in my family and what he's doing in Big Temple and now God. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. I, I'm looking now for my the, the, the building God gives us so that we can come together and fellowship. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm waiting. I'm not going to get too close. I'm going to sit back and wait on God. I'm going to trust Him. Trust God. Amen. Hallelujah. If there's nothing else, we're going to close out in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. God's good. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word today. Let us remember in our journey to our destination, let us remember who you are. Let us remember that we got to stay focused. Let us remember don't get comfortable in the places that we temporarily stop in. Let's remember, hallelujah, to come out of our comfort zone. Let's remember to be sanctified. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's remember to look for the miracles, the signs and wonders that you're going to do. Hallelujah. Remember that you promised it and you are able to bring it to pass. Father, we thank you again for your word. We thank you for the soul. We thank you for the joy that you've given. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Father, oh God, I thank you for everything that you're doing in my life and in the in the faith temple, Father God. I thank you, Father God. And those that are listening, I know God wants to do something special in your lives. For he is God and he loves us. Hallelujah. And his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. You got to turn your life over to him, Father. Ah, oh, my God, I thank you. I up a shut down. God, I thank you for everything that you're doing. I'm blessed right now, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be blessed, saints. Be blessed, saints. Hallelujah.